Hello artists. In this video, I demonstrate how to use charcoal and provide some tips that may help you with your artwork. I encourage you to look online to see how other artists use charcoal. The more you know, the better your ability you will get. Although you're doing a landscape and I'm doing a portrait of my three boys, the techniques are pretty similar, all right? I graded my paper, my reference photo into one inch by one inch, and then I broke it even further into small little increments. I feel like when you're doing a portrait of, a, of people, you have to be pretty precise with the details or the facial features. If it's not accurate, people will notice right away. You also have multiple reference photos, one's for the gridding, the other one is for the values. I do the same thing. My examples here, I actually broke my reference uh, photo into multiple versions, different tones. That way I can play around with it a little more. I know you can't see my drawing or anything, but it's there. Here's some tools that I use when I'm drawing. Some brushes, some round one and a small little flat one. Charcoal powder, although it doesn't seem like there's a lot, you probably won't use all of it, okay? Kneaded eraser. My Helix electric eraser for small little highlights. Here's a mono zero detail eraser, rectangular one. Q-tips for blending, fingertips, toilet paper. Just be careful, make sure it's clean. So I start out by laying down my first value, a very light value. That way I can have an understanding of where my lights are gonna be, where my darks are gonna be. That way I know where to build up or lift or erase away. As you're doing this, take your time, kind of like in drawing foundation when we teach you to draw. Draw and shade and color based on your reference photo, not on what you think it is, all right? Our minds are always trying to play tricks on us, okay? We're trying to make up information. When you're drawing, trust the reference photo, trust the system. So I get laid down that first tone. I go back in with my vine charcoal stick. I lay down some dark values on top. Take my eraser, blend those values in together. If I need to, I'll take my detail eraser or my knead eraser and go and lift some more values out. That charcoal pencil that was sent home with you, that's more for small little details. I use that to draw the little details, the hair, the little eyes. For you, it might be the tiny little texture on the bark of a tree, the little pine needles, things like that. My large compressed charcoal that I have, I use that to block large dark areas out. Okay. It's much faster than using that little pencil. Now, if you're wondering if your values are good enough, well, take a few steps back. Take a look at it. See if you can see multiple values. If it looks really flat or muted, you probably want to build those values up a little more, okay? That'll give you a little more depth So pretty much what I have for you right now, just a reminder, when you're doing your work, start out lightly. Use the charcoal powder to build that first initial tone or value and then gradually build up or erase out, okay? Learn how to use your paper as a value. 
your white paper should be like a highlight, your lightest value in your drawing. Thank you for watching this video. Hang in there. All right, stay tuned for part two.